Welcome to Bali. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to another day in Ubud. I'm so excited today. We're doing something crazy. Um, <laughs> we're gonna go take an ATV through a track uh, around the jungle, I guess. A uh, muddy track, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's gonna be quite an adventure. I'm told there's a cave and a pool at the end. So we're set, we got our GoPros packed, we're ready to go. And uh, I've never driven an ATV before, so I'm kind of surprised they're just gonna let me do it. But I think that's the MO of this experience, is trying something new. Uh, I don't think it'll be too dangerous. I think it's for tourists, it should be pretty chill. But we're gonna find out together. So uh, we're about to go order a Gojek, get in the car, and head over to the ATV Adventure Course and uh, hop on uh, some four-wheelers and get a little dirty. This is gonna be an interesting one. Let's do this. So it's covered in mud. It's time for a quick shower, and then we're headed back to the main, uh, I guess, station, uh, and eat some food. That was wild. <laughs> really wild. Back at the pool house and restaurant after a shower, we sat down for some food and cocktails, pausing to enjoy the view of the rice fields. With my 30th birthday approaching in less than a week, I felt nothing but gratefulness and gratitude. In the last four years or so, I've had so many adventures. I've been to 25 countries, met some incredible people, and experienced so much. Being able to spend a month in Bali for my 30th birthday was the icing on top of a cake layered with stories. 
And though Bali can be busy, it was nice to take things slow, to stop and look at the palm trees, feel the humidity, and soak in the fun of it all. If you'd have told me when I turned 20 that this is what I'd be doing in 10 years, I would not have believed you. The only regret or sadness that I have is that I haven't been able to share any of these experiences with my mother. I do think she'd be proud of the person I've become, despite my flaws. Being here reminded me of all the adventures she would take me on as a kid, trips up to the big city of Cleveland to see a show, or a big trip to New York City together. Growing up is odd. I'm not sure I'm ready to be 30, but it's coming either way. Not that I'm scared or anxious about the number, but how the expectations of the world might shift, or more so, how my expectations about myself might shift. With a few more weeks lounging in the tropics, I want to relax, turn off, and recharge. The fear of the future may be there, but so is the excitement about the adventures I'll have over the next 10 years. So maybe I pause to enjoy all my friends around me and try to savor the moments between each adventure a little more. After all, my world is getting smaller, and who knows what I might get up to next. Well, there's only one thing left to say. What a day. I hope you uh, liked coming on this adventure with me, and uh, hope you subscribe. Check out more of my adventures, not just here in Bali, but uh, all over the world, and all over the United States. Uh, we'll see you next time.